My lord, because of all the pollution, this area has become extremely hazardous. You must be careful at all times and look out for the rampaging mutated monsters. The Corruptorment is to blame for this situation as well. How far will they fall? I see no end to this. What is with that pile of trash? It's like a massive lump of concentrated toxin. Blech. It's waste from the human world. Made in... Hmm. There's no doubt that these are the source of the pollution here. Waste from the human world? Are you saying that they're dumping their garbage in the netherworld? It's nonsense! How could the Corruptorman allow this? They must be aware that it's happening! Hey guys, I thought you came here to rescue me! <gasps> right! What? Seriously? Y you actually came to help me? Of course! As a printing instructor, I am obligated to save you. Y you He's only seeing to his professional duty. Don't you dare develop affections for him, lass. Like I would! You guys beat the hell out of me earlier! <laughs> At least you're still full of energy. Can you fight, lass? My name is Fuka. Fuka Kazamatsuri. A ninth grader from St. Goliath Middle School, Classroom 3B. <laughs> Time to bust some balls! Got anything to eat? Hey! Here I come!
It seems that all the mutants have run away. Now that I think about it, they are also just victims. It could have gone easier on them. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go now, since there's no reason for me to fight you anymore. Not so fast, lass. Even if you fail to become a Prinny, you're still technically a Prinny. And as long as you're a Prinny, I must teach and raise you from beginning to end so that you can become a great Prinny. First of all, Pretty rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No way! I'm not a Prinny! I'm Fuka Kazamatsuri! Hades is the training ground for all burdened souls. That being said, you have no right to complain. Now, pretty rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No means First of all, who came up with these horrible labor laws anyway? It's the Prinny Law that was written by the very first president of the Netherworld. Only the president can revise this law. Okay, then I'll go talk to the president. I'm gonna tell him to his face to change the Prinny Law! Hmm. I find your attitude rather pleasing. Why don't you come with us? I'll take you to meet the president. Seriously? Yes, I promise. Lord, enough with your careless promises. Well, we're going to have to fight the president sooner or later. It's an inevitable confrontation if we are to complete our mission. Isn't that right? You're right, but... Cool! Then I've decided! I'm coming with you! My new mission is to become the Netherworld President! What? Wasn't your goal to revise the Prinny Law? It's the same difference. Besides, I like the sound of that better. And thus, Prinny War 1 came to an end. Tyrants Valvatores and Fuka Kazumatsuri. Nobody at the time could imagine how great of an influence their encounter that day would have on the future of not only the Netherworld, but of the human world as well. My dream is starting to get pretty exciting! How many times do we have to tell you this isn't a dream? You're dead! And how many times do I have to tell you that this is my dream? If you think I'm so wrong, then prove it! Very well! Do you promise that when I'm proven right, you will admit that you are Prinny, no matter what? Fine, I promise! But then if I'm right, you have to promise to become my very own personal Prinny. What? Your personal Prinny? Oh, are you trying to back out now? <laughs> How amusing. All right, I'll take you up on that promise. My lord, do not be so rash in making so many futile promises. <laughs> need to worry. You won't be able to keep your promises. I just released all of the prisoners. I told them that whoever kills you guys will get a full pardon. They're all notoriously brutal criminals. You're all gonna die. It's game over. What an Axel. You're still alive?
An astonishing truth is revealed to us after putting an end to the unfriendly rebellion and stopping the corruptorman scheme. <laughs> That's right! Warden Axel is alive! Let your relief bring you to your knees! The truth is, the word sardine refers to more than one kind of fish, including other small fish in the Clupinet family, like the Japanese shad. Don't tell me that's the astonishing truth you were talking about. By the way, sardines are named after an island called Sardinia in the Mediterranean Sea. Who cares? Hey, hey! Aren't you surprised to see me alive? Oh, and the shads are also called river herrings. Ugh, are you into fish, too? In Japanese, sardine is translated as the iwashi, but urame iwashi and karakuchi iwashi aren't even included in the same family. What in Hades is going on here, Japanese language? Katakuchi iwashi, the anchovy, is in the Inquality family that includes the grenadier anchovy that doesn't even look like a sardine. So why do they even call them iwashi? Sardines would cry if they knew about these vague standards. Come on! No, you come on! You stupid sardine nerd! Next time, episode three, Valvatore's Nether P.I. Murder in Hell's Prison. Sardines aren't always what they seem. What? No! A murder? Who's gonna get killed? You!